Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, we are going to talk about one more reason why MBR to GPT might fail. So I have already created one more video on that and there I have talked about the basic uh, common reasons why MBR to GPT might fail. The link is over here. You can check out that video and in this video, we are going to talk about one more reason. So let's get started. Okay, so the another reason could be that on your laptop, the partitions they by default they have got an ID and by default all the partition they have ID 7 now in case if you are having some manufacturer specific partitions they have got a specific ID first of all I'm going to show you on my uh, Wikipedia page that what are the different IDs for the different types of partitions so here you can see here's a list of different partitions and some most of the time you will be having partition 07H that is an hexadecimal number system and if you have any other type like for different manufacturers like it we have from Acer you can see Acer they have 27H and then we have from IBM they have different so different manufacturers they have different IDs now when you're doing conversion the MBR to GPT doesn't know that in GPT what should be the ID so I'm going to show you the list of IDs in GPT so this is the list of partition IDs and most of the time we keep it as a data disk where you store the data and this basic data partition and uh, this one this one with basic data partition and this is the grid for that thing so in case if you don't need those manufacturer specific they have mostly the recovery partitions just delete them and do the conversion and if you want to keep them just you need to specify the mapping so let's first of all uh, recreate that issue and then i'm going to show you how to do that fix so if i go to disk management by right clicking on the start button go to disk management And here you can see that I have the system partition and the boot partition. So I will be creating one more partition. So first of all, I'm going to shrink it. And I'll be shrinking to 10 gigs. Okay, so 10240. So it's 10 gigs. And I will be creating a volume of that. And then I'll be setting the IDs using the command letter. So just right click, simple volume, next, 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 finish. And then you got the D drive. So this is normally as of now the simple partition. I can right click and see the contents over there. But if I go to the command prompt, right click and run as administrator. And then over here, if I use this part this partitioning utility i can say select disk zero so this is my zero disk and then if i say show me the list of partitions you can see the third partition is uh, roughly 10 gigs and if i say select partition three and that partition got selected now if i again do list partition you're going to see there's a star over here that shows that this is the selected partition if I say DETPAR for detail of the partition, it's giving me that the partition ID is 7. Now if I want to change it, different manufacturers have different IDs like the Lenovo laptop, they have the partition ID 12 in hexadecimal in decimal number system that comes out to be 18. So different partitions, they have the different partition numbers. So uh, let's say set ID equal to 12. And now you can see that when I go back, you can see it's showing as the OEM partition and if I right click I don't get any option to delete or anything so if you really don't need it you simply delete those partitions and how to delete that OEM partition I have already created the video just link is over here you can go ahead and watch that video so now the problem is over here let's minimize it and let's try to do the conversion so I'll just open one more command prompt and uh, the command for converting from MBR to GPT we have MBR to GPT and forward slash first of all let's do the validation let's see if validation passes or not so let's validate and because I'm running in the operating system so I need to say slash allow full OS enter and then you see that in terms of validation it passes successfully but if I try to do the actual conversion is gonna fail so if I say slash 
convert and I don't need to specify the disk ID by default it does for the current disk that is disk 0 and if I press enter key and now you can see it's trying to convert is gonna see you can see behind the scene is gonna create an EFI partition okay you can see that 100 MB EFI partition got created then it starts copying the content but then you're gonna see that it will fail Okay, so you can see finally the conversion failed and that EFI partition it created, it had deleted that partition again. Now, the reason why it failed, you will be getting inside the log file. So those log files are in Windows folder. So you just definitely want to go to C drive, uh, go to Windows and sort these files in descending order. And you're going to see we have files set up error.txt that give you a summary of the error and set up act.log that's going to give you the details. So if I go over here and this is giving me a file over here, you cannot map the MBR partition. Partition type is 18. And if you remember, we specified the partition ID as 12. That was in hexadecimal number system. And this 18 is in decimal number system. So we need to specify the mapping. And same thing goes over here also if I go to this file it's going to show the list of all the partitions so partition number one ID was seven partition number two ID was seven and partition number three the ID is 18 and this is the problem you can see it shows you that what is the error so as I told before that if you don't need it maybe this was your uh, manufacturer's partition you can delete that and if you don't want to delete it you need to specify the mapping so how do we need to specify the mapping if you have a look on the command prompt over here let's do cls and let's see the help so forward slash question mark you can see we have over here a switch called as forward slash map you need to specify the source number that is number 12 equals to and then the destination number so uh, let's try to do the conversion. So if I say convert, and then I need to specify slash map colon 18 equals to, uh, then let's try with, with the grid partition. So I want to keep it as a basic data partition. This one basic data partition, I'll just copy this grid and paste it and press enter key. Okay, so now you can see that the conversion succeeded and if I go back to the disk management, you can see that this disk, if I right click, go to properties and volume, this disk got converted to GPT and this is normally now converted to a data disk. You can go and see. So I don't have anything. You may be having some manufacturer specific files. So this is how we can convert your disk by specifying the map parameter. You may be having a lot of other, so you can specify a number of these map parameters. So just be careful forward slash map the, the partition ID in decimal number system that is 18. And then you need to specify in which format you want to convert what is the id in the gpt so this is the complete list you can have a look in wikipedia page so hope you found this video useful if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video